hello everyone and uh, welcome to the orthodox techie channel last session we saw like uh, that console chat connector how to connect your uh, chatbot using your console chat connector and using your emulator so without wasting any time so this session we are going to see how to uh, create a Lewis and last session we have also seen like uh, uh, how to uh, create an intent utterance and entities in uh, Lewis in this session we are going to see how to integrate that uh, Lewis account in the node.js code okay so I'm going to show you that code I'm not going to write the code for you guys just since I've already uh, wrote some code in my so studio okay let's see the last session we saw here okay so you can see here right so this is the code which we created last uh, using the last ch chat console connector so I'm going to skip this code entire bot code dialog I'm not, not I'm not going to use this bot dialog so I'm going to command this line okay and also I'm going to enable this one to you guys just for you or else let me remove those things we don't require okay to avoid the confusion and this is required for the in memory storage oh, it's already there okay we are good so as of now what we uh, did do what we did here right so uh, we consume that builder is bot builder SDK and the rest of SDK and we have created one server node.js server and also we have uh, enabled the connector in the server port like called of api messages okay so it's a console connector so we don't require the console connector code here since we have already connected through the our chat connector okay so passing the chat connector and listening the chat connector here and also we have a universal bot connector as well to passing the uh, hey i'm a virtual agent how can i help you like that so that so i'm going to remove this as well let's see okay we can leave that one as it is okay so i'm going to remove this code as well because we are not going to use this one yet since we delete the dialog box right so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this code from here and paste it here as well so it's there to server post api message after that to you guys okay so what it means so you can you can see here right so the Lewis app ID and Lewis app key and Lewis app host name and as well as the Lewis uh, model URL so I have concat all the Lewis app host name and app API key and app ID so uh, how can we do this and where, where we can find those keys app ID and app API keys and uh, API host names and all okay so this is the code you have to create a three different variables variable object for Lewis app ID and Lewis app API key and Lewis API host name and concatting all these three you can find one URL a single URL called like Lewis model URL so this is how we could do it let me show you that how how can we find these three things so I'm going to onto the Google open my Lewis account login okay I'm going to use my login account dot com oh my god sorry look.com sign in let's take some time okay let uh, let's move on to our app right now I've already create one app here okay move on to the uh, patterns or settings somewhere 
we got it where should go maybe in the review endpoints you can find here review endpoint utterance there hmm. let me go to my app features miss somewhere it is ah yeah sorry you can find the app id over here you can see here right the name of app id and you can find this app id and you can copy this app id from here and go to your code and paste it in the lewis app id variable and also api key how could we find api key and api host name go to the publish settings or the collaboration maybe the settings mm. yeah uh, azure resources right you can find one url in the example query boxes right so this is the entire url what we can uh, uh, what we we would we would find this um, URL and uh, using this URL only you could communicate with your uh, Lewis AI. Okay, so you can see here this is the entire URL and you can copy and paste it somewhere. It is so the primary key is nothing but the app ID. App key is that API key is there. So Lewis API key is nothing but your primary key, and also you can find the endpoint URL. I uh, just uh, create a variable called Lewis API hostname and you can copy this entire URL and paste it here as well okay so I'm concatting all these three things like one is the Lewis uh, API hostname and Lewis A app ID and Lewis API key okay so if you concatting that URLs it will be it will form this kind of URL okay so this is the URL which we going to give request to the Lewis API so this is how you could find the API key app ID and as well as the uh, a Lewis API hostname so this is the first configuration so you have to do when you start writing a code with the Lewis because without uh, uh, Lewis app ID and API key and API hostname you could be able to communicate with your Lewis app ID URL um, okay so hope you like it keep watching let me show you the next sessions on how to write a dialog box using that uh, uh, board builder. Thank you.